and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at quad tracking heavy guitars. This is the counterpoint, this is the quiet bit before the loud bit, because you can't have a loud bit without a quiet bit before it. Right? We know that from grunge. So uh, the quad, why quad tracking specifically, uh, what I'm talking about is a left and a right pair, so play it twice with one sound and then repeat that with a different sound and these two tones are going to be quite different, different families of amps um, but exactly the same playing and in this case on the same guitar as well. Uh, this came up uh, in a session I did for a client this week uh, where uh, I'd done a double double track guitar and then found that I thought mm, that's not quite happening so I did another and then listened to them both together and liked it. I have done a video uh, on uh, blending guitar tones before um, I'll link it below but this one is a bit different uh, the approach is, is somewhat different and it's much it's really about getting a kind of heavy riffy stuff okay so let's dive in um, we're using the Kemper for this, but uh, rather than put a camera on the Kemper, we've got the software, which is great. So this is what it looks like. Um, and we've got, basically we've got this Fender, it's basically a, a Fender Deluxe with a vibrato uh, in front of it for a little bit of wobble. Uh, so we turn the vibrato off. We st keep it sticking with this amp. I, I think it's nice to kind of keep the same uh, amp family uh, sometimes, otherwise those two different different sections can sound a bit alien. Um, but yeah, so we're we're putting the uh, OCD on, which looks like this, um, and sounds like that. We have got a little bit of EQ on here. I've pulled the bass back because we're going to get loads of low end from the other guitar um, sound. So uh, it's just this. So let's get stuck in. I've, I'm already set up. I've done all the business uh, so that you don't have to wait and watch me setting up channels and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just going to quickly bash through. Uh, I will try and get it right first time, but I make no guarantees. I'm going to try and get the same articulation in, in all of these. Probably won't make it first time around, but I'll do my best. Okay, let's have a quick listen. Let's not listen, let's just move on. So the other, so we've got the Fender Deluxe with the OCD in front of it, and now the Marshall JCM 800, which is uh, this one, the Man Rock 800. What could be more manly? Uh, we turn off the delay, we turn off the, turn off the delay, turn off the reverb. Um, and this has a bit more gain uh, and a lot of bottom and top. And we're going to the neck pickup here. Didn't like that. too bad. Uh, 
Okay, so sounds all right to me so far. Um, I'm going to do a third one of this and I'll come back and tell you why I'm doing a third one uh, in uh, just a second. Right, so what we're doing with this one is having it for the second breakdown and it's got some EQ on it. So we take the low end out and we take the high end out. So let's have a let's have a listen to this and kind of get a bit of a balance with them. So you can, what I'm going to do here is just go between them and blend uh, blend the fuzzy one, the quieter one in, um, sorry, the low gain one. The, let's listen to this actually, it's very low gain this sound. There's really not a lot of distortion there, I mean there's there's quite a bit but we're not talking high gain um, and then the marshals on their own uh, for some reason I'm too quiet I mean to me that just sounds epic I, I love the sound of that but when we put back in the uh, the other one Okay, the playing is not as tight as it could be, but hopefully you're you're getting the uh, the rough gist of it. So, so that works nicely. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to copy over the the verse riff to uh, here, and rather than repeat record it all again, which I would do, um, I'm just going to copy these over. And uh, yes, yeah, so this uh, breakdown small one, we put this central, and instead of um, instead of just launching back into the riff with the full um, the full beans, we uh, have a thinned out version with less low end, less top end, so it's a bit, bit more just mid rangey, duh. Um, and then when the drums and the other guitars come in with wide, uh, it's going to sound huge by comparison. Uh, let's get the solos off. Okay, so we need to thin this out a bit more. Um. take that down a bit further um, now this is why I would re-record it because it's got that slide in that I did the first time which we don't really like uh, there it diminishes from the impact I think turn that down a bit as well this is the about light and shade loud and quiet like we can't make it sound loud unless we have a bit that sounds really quiet and when we add bass guitar as well that's going to make a huge difference too all right i'm still not happy with the eq of this um Okay.
this control surface, by the way, is the Avid Artist Mix. Um, it's made by Avid, so it uh, integrates really well with Pro Tools. Uh, I use Logic, and it integrates okay with Logic. Uh, it's not too bad, but the motorized faders are really nice, and it's super helpful when I'm tracking, so I can just grab a fader and, uh, and adjust my levels and that sort of thing for monitoring. Um, for mixing, I tend to stick with uh, the mouse and keyboard most of the time, uh, unless I'm just pulling together a mix uh, from scratch, in which case that's, again, really useful. With regards to plugins, um, it's all stock Logic stuff, except for uh, I've used an Echo Boy delay plugin, that's from Sound Toys, my favorite delay plugin. Um, that's on a clean guitar, which I'm gonna add uh, in a minute. And I'll also add the Vice Soft Tube um, DS3, like the compressor limiter, and uh, that's gonna be on the master bus. Everything else is uh, gonna be stock. Um, but what we don't have now is the uh, low octave. We don't have uh, the bass guitar, so we've got to get that in. Now, that is going to make a big difference, or there's a nice opportunity for us to increase this level of uh, contrast and light and shade um, by, by dropping the bass out for the uh, EQ filtered uh, chorus riff that comes after the, the second verse, um, and then bringing it back in for the riff that follows. So that uh, jump between quiet and loud or uh, thin and very thick is going to be accentuated even more. It's a great trick. It's a classic trick. It's not my idea, but um, it's, it's a good one. Um, enjoy this. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, as I say, I'll be playing bass. Um, I'm going to show you also what I'm doing with the mixing and uh, some of the settings that I'm going through. Um, uh, on on, a, on the screenshot so hope that's useful don't forget to like and subscribe this video help the algorithm uh, the channel is growing quite um, quite a lot at the moment I'm very uh, grateful for all the help so uh, thanks for thanks for watching thanks for liking and uh, thanks for your comments uh, I'll see you in those comments down below but yeah drop a drop a subscription uh, if you want to see more stuff like this enjoy <laughs>